So here we are with the final installation of the wireless headphone to wired headphone project that I've been working on. I went to a local store and picked up a 12-volt cigarette lighter extension cord. I have two plugs on the front of my dash. One of them is on only when the key's on. The other one is on all the time. So I can decide whether I want to have it in either one of them. Right now I just have it plugged into the constant and uh, being in the front I can just choose to unplug it whenever I don't want to have the unit on in the back. The wire just goes down the side there in between the front seats and to the back seats along the floor. It's covered up with mats and stuff so nobody will trip on it. It's underneath the matting and the carpet. You can see the adapters on for the unit. And this is a, a little cubby that's actually underneath the seat in the Jeep. It works out really nice to have, to, to be able to hide away the unit underneath the seat. All covered up just like that. And the wire comes up and I have a big dog so I have a, uh, what do you call it? Well, you can see for yourself. I have the barrier here. Keep the dog from poking his head over the seat to the kids in the back. So I've got the wire going up the barrier and into the middle and not the most amazing job of mounting it but uh, use some electrical tape to mount it in the middle. This was to give access to the plugs as well as the volume control and then from there, let me just climb up here in the truck, from there so you can see plugs for the headphones and the volume control and the power light and then from there I ran the other wire that came out of it up here to one of the infrared diodes there's one actually in the headset but there's an extra one that goes on the other side as well so I just using them both still right now if I turn the power on in here we should see a light there we go. So now the unit has power. I could probably just leave it on because I can control whether it goes off or on from the front. I'll grab one of the kids' headphones here. Plug it into the pink one. Let me sound out of that. Plug in the other one the green. There'll be sound out of that too. So here we are. It's I just had to do some minor adjustments here. The uh, external infrared wasn't working very well so I actually just removed it and it's using the one that's built inside the heads the headphone. It's actually located just inside here. So it works just off of that one alone. Don't need the other one. Which is nice, one less wire. You see the headphone come down to here and... You can hear the headphones going. Both headphones are working. Might have a little bit of minor adjustments here and there, but uh, seems to be working pretty good. We'll give it a test drive tomorrow.